hi welcome or welcome back to my channel so um yeah it's another single book video where i um muse about a book i i, I wouldn't call it a review but it's more like a musing <laughs> anyway this time i will muse about this book uh, it's called Spark by Naoki Matayoshi. Um, this book was originally written in Japanese and it was translated into the English by Alison Watts. And um, I was actually quite surprised because I did not expect uh, much from this slim book. Um, I thought it was thin and so that's why I decided to pick it up and it was good it was good I gave it um, about five no uh, I gave it four out of five stars so that's that's pretty good um, so Spark is about um, this young man who is um, who is a young comedian his name is Tokunaga and he is a young comedian um, he is one half of a manzai com comedy duo and um, yeah, he's still new um, in the business. Um, it's not exactly a story about him and his partner, but more about his story with uh, an, a slightly older comedian that he befriends. And this comedian, um, also a manzai performer, his name is Kamiya. He's four years older than Tokunaga, who is 20 years old when this story starts. And um, so this book pretty much talks about um, Tokunaga's experience being friends with Kamiya and the reason why this friendship starts is because Tokunaga finds uh, Kamiya to be somewhat of a um, he, Kamiya has this kind of eccentric um, electric personality that sort of draws uh, Tokunaga towards him and, uh, and so they sort of have this kind of junior-senior relationship, uh, senpai-kohai relationship with each other, um, where there is definitely this kind of junior-senior dynamics, but at the same time, it also has that kind of uh, typical friendship dynamics as well. And what I find really interesting about this book is that it is ultimately a purely uh, uh, friendship story but it has its own flavor and it has this really unique flavor partly contributed by the fact that um, much of this book is about manzai comedy which is something that I have no experience with <laughs> I don't um, basically while I was reading this book and whenever they were they were talking about manzai, they were talking about the performances and stuff, I couldn't really relate to that. But I found out that it was not a problem because, um, well, maybe that's, you know, this is just me, but I don't have to understand every single thing. I don't have to relate with every single thing in a book in order to enjoy it. Um, and so that was definitely the case with this book. I didn't really connect with that whole um, discussion on the artistic, quality or philosophical discussions on manzai performance or comedy or whatever. But this book also shows us this really personal and intimate story between two people who, who love what they're doing, but somehow, um, because there are people, they are dealing with certain things inside. So we have the main character, Tokunaga, who is a new comedian who is still finding his way around um, around the world, basically. He's finding his way uh, on how to advance his, ca his career as a comedian. And yeah, he, he's a newbie and he meets with this um, senior who he thinks is just so awesome and uh, who is wonderful, who looks successful, and, and he gravitates towards that person. Um, but then, over the course of their friendship, he realizes that um, those traits that he sees in Kamiya might as, could as well be uh, a facade because as he befriends Kamiya, he learns more about him. He learns more about who is inside, what motivates him. And this book is pretty much about how he learns, how he discovers something about 
Kamiya. But at the same time, he also discovers something about himself. Um, he starts out as someone who is a bit insecure about himself because he's doing comedy. And doing comedy, I think we all could agree, is would involve some kind of um, vulnerability when you're performing. And so there's a bit of uh, discussion on that as well. And this book pretty much takes us on his kind of like internal... Um, uh, sort of like internal talk with himself on, um, on basically what kind of person who he wants to be. He was drawn to Kamiya before because he thinks that there is a certain ideal that he has to achieve in order for him to be successful but then afterwards he realizes something because that's you know, typical coming of age story, you learn about something about yourself. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it, this book feels complete um, in a way that it is a story about a person learning about themselves. It fits this kind of, um, the typical arc of a uh, typical coming of age story. Um, but it has its own unique points. It explores a relationship that is fairly unique, that it's not, that is not easily transferable. Much of this book feels very, I would say, localized to Japanese culture. And I think that there are also other points that may feel kind of foreign to foreign readers. And I still think that it doesn't uh, really impede my, you know, my enjoyment of this story because it shows the universal side of it very nicely and it uses the more, uh, the more unique localized setting as something that uh, supports the story instead of uh, kind of... Uh, being a crutch for the story. There's that difference. And um, I think it works really well. One thing that I find kind of strange though, because I use Goodreads to catalog the books that I've read, and I noticed that this book has an average rating of 3.17, which I think is kind of low. And I usually don't um, read books. I mean, I would try, but I usually find that Books with ratings lower than 3.3, for example, are kind of duds. Um, but recently, I've been trying more books that has low ratings, and I, will, you know, I, I have been enjoying them. And so I would say that the experience is kind of nice. And looking through the reviews, I found out that um, quite a few people. Uh, we're not really connecting with this book due to its um, very uh, culture-specific um, points. You know, things like manzai comedies um, or how how Japanese this book feels, and something about that. Uh, my experience before when I read uh, books from Japan, translated books from Japan, there were some modern books that I read that I couldn't feel like I was connecting really well. And, um, you know, it just kind of got me thinking because after reading a few books, um, after reading a few modern novels uh, translated from Japanese, it kind of got me thinking that there is a certain trend here. like. Um, I found that I couldn't relate. I found that I couldn't connect. And, and so I was thinking, maybe I have missed the point, right? Um, when you read something, you don't expect to connect with something. You try to, uh, you, you read it, and you, you try to um, connect to that thing yourself. You don't expect it to connect with you, if, if that makes sense. And I think that was, how I approached those uh, translated Japanese novels before because I found out that certain things that the characters do in those novels just felt kind of strange, that uh, kind of um, new to me, um, that I would, 
I found it kind of difficult to be receptive to those elements in those novels. And, you know, I think I would like to revisit those novels now that I have a slightly different approach to reading books in general. And I think this has been working very well for me. Um, so yeah, I am interested to be, uh, I'm in interested to read more books set in places that I'm not familiar with, um, with this kind of uh, approach in mind. And I think that was probably why I was able to enjoy this book because I didn't really care so much whether I could relate to these characters or not. Um, but I was reading more in basically in um, sort of like how you would be, I don't know, a, a therapist for example. And, and then you read a book, it's, it's like the characters are telling you a story and you might not understand what they're saying or how, how they feel. You, you might not relate to them. I think the key word is relate. Um, but you try. And I think that's uh, you know, the, the best thing that you could do to read a book. You try to connect with the book instead of having the book connect to you. Um, so yeah, I think that's a long rambling. <laughs> Um, have you read this book? Are you familiar with Manzai comedies? Uh, do you have any idea why there is an image of an egg with two yolks on the cover? I don't understand because I don't think this book really implies or reference any eggs. Anyway, um, if you have any answers to those questions or if you have anything else to comment, feel free to comment. And that's it for this video. I'll see you again in a different one. So until then, take care. Thanks for watching and bye.